All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the new Vote Slash Frost unit, Brevi, to where not only does she buff both of these elements, but she's also the newest healer added to the game. So she primarily focuses as a main DPS for Vote and a support for Frost, as well as being an amazing healer. But do note that this was tested on the test server, so there's a chance that most of this could change. But this is what you need to know before you roll. Starting with her main mechanic, so let's go ahead and talk about her normal attacks, which you're mainly not going to be doing except for Hold attack. To where if you're familiar with Mimi, this should not be a surprise. To where even if you have her matrices, you can initiate the hold attack and take your hand off the mouse and the game will do the rest for you. But if you're in benediction mode, you're able to do a normal attack near your teammate, which summons a bestie which surrounds your teammate. And while you're near that teammate, the bestie will constantly heal them. Then we have her skill. Once it's cast, you're going to get a damage buff for both Frost and Volt. You also get the ability to cast Mess Energy Waves while this skill is on cooldown, providing you extra damage. But if you're in benediction mode, the skill massively heals you and your teammates by also removing negative effects like Grey Bite. But you do lose the ability to cast Mess Energy Waves. Bringing us to her discharge, to where if you're DPSing, you're mainly going to be jump canceling this. But if you're in bit addiction, this discharge removes all negative effects like Grain Bite, and it turns trash mobs into besties for a limited time. Bringing us to her special features, starting out to where she is a dual element, being Vote and Frost. What this allows her to do is the weapon that you're currently on, the summon Mets coordinated attack, will mimic that element. Meaning that if you're on Ling Hong, it will do Frost damage, and if you were on Mimi, it would do Vote damage. But do note that if you are on Brevi, it will be considered bolt damage. Then for her abilities, with her shatter being a 12 and her charge being a 10, her charge and shatter is the strongest Ling Hongs. And like Gimiao, she has another special feature. This one is Force Impact, to where it will increase the Frost and Volt damage. But it does remove the Grievous effect. And if this is activated by a Frost character, the enemies will freeze. And if it's activated by a Volt character, it will remove the target's buffs. And then for her Elemental Resonance, she has the Volt Frost Fusion to where she can take the highest values from your Volt or Frost gear. And of course, she has the initial Volt and Frost Resonance. And then for her Extra Domain 9 skill, she has the Thunderbolt Swift Cut, which is boosted by your Volt Attack, your HP, your Resistance, and Crit. And this is further increased by 1.3 times if you have a Flame or Physical Weapon equipped to your team. And lastly, she has one other ability, Miraculous Turnaround, to where if you're doing Bygone or Sequential, you get an extra 15 seconds to complete the stage. And if you're doing Origin of War, you get an additional 25 seconds, up to 50 seconds if there's two Brevies on the team. And then we have our trait, which is really good, to where it increases your final damage by 18%, but if Brevi is in the team, it increases by another 6%. And if you're in Benediction Mode, you give that 6% increase to your teammates. So let's go ahead and talk about our play style. When it comes to vote, Brevi is a hyper carry to where she's mainly going to be on field doing her hold attack and casting her skill and Mets energy waves off cooldown and only switching to your supports to make sure their buffs are active. For Frost, she is a support to where you're only casting her skill for the damage buff and additional Mets Energy Waves for additional damage. And for healing, this mainly revolves around your bestie. So one thing to note is you want to make sure that you do not stray too far from your bestie, otherwise the bestie will disappear. But when it comes to healing, you're mainly empowering your bestie to where the bestie will also give pulsating heals to the team. So when it comes to the playstyle, you mainly want to stick close to your bestie and cast your skill and discharge when needed. Which brings us to her ascensions, with one star allowing her normal attacks and summon pet to heal you. Also, when your bestie takes damage that will reduce her HP below 25%, they recover 30% of their health. On top of that, prevents your bestie from taking lethal damage one time, which can be triggered once every 60 seconds. This is almost a requirement if you want to heal with Brevi, but it doesn't really do much for DPS. Bringing us to her A3, which allows you to gain more Mets Energy Waves. This does not do much for Volt since you're mainly on Brevi, but it's pretty helpful for Frost since you're not on her as often but you also greatly increase your vote and frost damage to bosses. And all this is possible if you're not in benediction mode. But if you are in benediction mode, then you get an extra use of your skill and you will heal your bestie 15% of their maximum health. Bringing us to A5, which increases the damage of your summoned pet and Mets energy wave by 30%, making this one of the weakest ascensions. A6 increases the damage buff from your skill, increasing the vote damage by 10% and the frost damage by 4%. But for healing, it increases your teammates' final damage by 20% and their shatter by 25% as long as they're near the bestie. So now let's go ahead and discuss her teams. But she does not have that many options due to the fact that she is a benediction weapon. For vote, her only real option is Mimi and Nani due to the fact that most other limited weapons don't really work well with her. But on the free-to-play side, you could consider pairing her with Tian, making a pretty decent free-to-play team. For Frost, her best team is Ling Hong, Nan Yin, and herself. But you can use her in Triple Frost since she does activate Ling Hong's trait, allowing you to do Ling Hong, Yulon, and herself. 
but this is weaker than the previous team. For a free to play, your options are pretty limited since Alice's clone does not proc off of her skill. Saki's skill reset does work, but Brevi's and Saki's skill are pretty low in damage. Bringing us to the matrices, to where Brevi's are very powerful. Starting with our two piece. For DPS, it's not really that strong since it's only giving a slight elemental damage boost, but for healers, this is amazing since it's greatly increasing the healing capability. To where her four piece greatly increases your attack, but if you're in Benediction Resonance, this attack is half, but it increases yourself and your teammates' attack. Non-E matrices are still very strong due to the final damage and crit damage that it gives to the team, as well as quite a bit of attack. Mimi matrices would be your third option due to the elemental damage, skill damage, and crit damage that it gives to the team. Rebellion matrices are pretty much outscaled by even zero star brevi matrices. DPS matrices, if max, they can compete with a zero star brevi matrices, but once you start getting more stars, they're clearly outclassed. And then when it comes to frost, especially if you have Ling Hong in the team, you want to use her matrices. But Yulon matrices are still very powerful and could replace a limited matrices set in the team depending on star level. To where if you have Max Ling Hong and Yulon matrices, you might need to get a couple stars on Brevi before you can kick Yulon off. Closing thoughts, when it comes to healer, I recommend that you try to pick up a 1 star Brevi and get a 0 star 4 piece of her matrices. After that, you can consider getting 3 star or 6 star which greatly helps out the team. For vote, they decided to fix Nanying's discharge bug, which allows you to do a lot of damage with Nanying's discharge, to where it proc 9 times once it was cast. So now it's doing 1 9th the damage. Due to this, Brevi will be an increase to your current vote team, but she is doing close to the same amount of damage as the current vote team. For Frost, she does give a slight increase to the current Frost team, but you might want to wait until the next Frost unit comes out if you plan to max her out. And with that, that should be everything that you need to know before you row. But let me know down in the comments, are you rolling for Brevi or are you waiting for those future characters? But other than that, I'll talk with you guys later.